Premier Pro is winning again. Welcome to Adobe Premiere Pro 2025. Let's dive into the exciting new features that will level up your video editing experience. Some of these features is available on Adobe Premiere Pro Beta 25.1 version. So be sure to download the latest Adobe Premiere Pro Beta version. To download Adobe Premiere Pro Beta, go to your Adobe Creative Cloud app and from there go to the app section. Under the beta section, you'll see Adobe Premiere Pro Beta. Just download it and open your Adobe Premiere Pro Beta app. So the first time when you open Adobe Premiere Pro Beta, you will see the new welcome window. Here you will see three different sleek templates to get started with your project. The templates are broadcast, social media and the standard templates. I really like the standard templates because it gives everything that I want to have when I start a new project. Also, if you don't like any of the templates, you can make your own templates and you can use that for your convenience. Once you select the template, set the project preference and then you are ready to go with your new project. Once you start a new project, you'll see the new properties panel. It's a game changer. It automatically displays essential control based on the clip that you have selected. No more digging through the menus. Everything is right at your fingertips. You can adjust your clip framing by clicking on the fill frame or fit to frame button. You can change the position, scale, rotation and opacity directly from the properties panel. Surprisingly, they have added the built-in crop functionality directly in the properties panel. Also, you can have different selection mode like transform and crop from the drop-down menu under the program panel. One thing is missing that is dynamic zoom. I wish they have included it too. Lastly, from the properties panel, you can change the volume of your audio clip and under the volume section, you'll see another button, which is the adjust speed button. You can click there to change the speed of your clip or you can reverse your clip as you like. Premiere Pro 2025 introduced enhanced color management. This update ensures consistent color across the different devices and formats, making color correction easier than ever. It will detect the raw footages from different cameras and apply the associate conversion automatically. If that doesn't happen for your clip, you can select your footage type and then Premiere Pro will do the rest to apply the conversion settings. Corner pin effect was very difficult to use previously. Corner pin is now GPU accelerated. You can warp and pin corners of your video elements within lightning speed. No more slower render times. Get real time previews as you make the adjustment. Also zooming to the timeline to the point I want was very tricky in the Premiere Pro 2024 version. Finally, they have fixed that. You can navigate through your timeline very easily without any issue. Finally, the Showkeeper's Generative Extent powered by Adobe Firefly AI. Now you can generate content directly within Adobe Premiere Pro, filling missing elements or extend the scene in seconds. Suppose I want to increase the duration of this clip. Firstly, select the clip on the timeline, then select Generative Extend tool. Then click and drag the clip you want to extend. It will take some time to process. So this part of this video have been generated using generative extend feature in Adobe Premiere Pro. You'll know which part have been generated by seeing the AI generated tag under the clip. You can extend your video clips. Also, you can extend the audio clip using this tool. But for now, you can only extend two seconds using this feature in Adobe Premiere Pro if you want to extend the clip. If you want to extend more, then you have to render the clip. Again, you have to import the clip again you have to extend i'm sure they will allow us to extend more very soon this is just the beginning and it will improve day by day and i think they will also include generative fill feature very soon in adobe premiere pro so these are the new features that adobe has included on their adobe premiere pro 2025 version and you'll get it on your public release very soon so that will make a huge difference if you are a fan of davinci resolve i think Premiere Pro is going very faster to catch up the Vinzy result and let's see what happens. So that is all for today. I hope you have liked this video. If you have liked this video and learned something new from this one, then you can give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, want to learn Adobe Premiere Pro or video editing, then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.